This video is a continuation on solving linear programming problems where we have to solve for the optimal value of the objective function z in the form z equals ax plus by. So let's solve this problem here. A farming cooperative mixes two brands of cattle feed. Brand X costs $25 per bag and contains two units of nutritional element A, two units of element B, and two units of element C. Brand Y costs $20 per bag and contains one unit of nutritional element A, nine units of element B, and three units of element C. So let's mark that two units here, two units, two units. $25, $20, one unit, nine units, and three units. The minimum requirements for nutrients A, B, and C are 12 units, 36 units, and 24 units respectively. What is the optimal number of bags of each brand that should be mixed? And what is the optimal cost? So we don't know um, the number of bags or the equal number of bags of brand X and Y. So we can let X be the equal number of bags of brand X. Well, let's just say number of bags and then y be the number of bags of brand y so let's create a table here so we have nutritional elements a b and c so nutritional element we have a b and c and then we have brand x and then brand y so for brand x it says two units for a two units for b and two units for c and then for brand uh, y we have one unit nine units and three units and it says here the minimum requirements of the nutrients of a b and c so it would be minimum so at least so it would be greater than or equal to so a should be here a should be greater than or equal to 12 units B greater than or equal to 36 units and C greater than or equal to 24 units and now we can um, write our linear inequalities which are our constraints from this information here in the table so for constraints so we have 2x plus y greater than or equal to 12, 2x plus 9y greater than or equal to 36, 2x plus 3y greater than or equal to 24, and then our non-negative constraints, x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. And then we need our objective function to solve for the total cost or the optimal cost so that would be our objective function would be z equals it says here twenty five dollars per bag for x plus twenty dollars for y so now we have our objective function um, equation and then our uh, linear inequalities which are our constraints then we can now graph the equations 
to solve for the optimal or maximum volume. So I want to delete this. Now let's graph our linear inequalities. We can write this as y y equals negative 2x plus 12. So our slope here is negative 2. And this one you can write as y equals negative 2x over 9 plus 4. And then this one is y equals negative 2 third x plus 8. Now we can plot um, the straight line first and then it says greater than or equal greater than or equal so that means those values above the line and including the line now let's graph this first inequality y greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 12 so when x is 0 y is 12 so this point here is 0, 12. Then when x is 1, y is 10. So this is 1, 10. And then when x is 6, y is 0. So this is 6, 0. Then we draw our line here. And it says greater than, so all the values above this line. Greater than or equal to. And then now we graph um, the second inequality. Y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 4. Alright, when x is 0, y is 4. So this one here, 0, 4. When y is 1, then uh, when x is 1, y is 2. So we have 1, 2. And then when x is 2, y is 0. So 2, 0. Then now we draw our line. We have this line here. Let me extend this. Oh, sorry, it should be negative 2. Sorry, my bad. It should be negative 2 over 9 plus 4. So we do it again. So when x is 0, y is 4. So this is 0, 4. When x is 9, y is 2 so it should be here 9 2 and then when x is 18 so somewhere here it's y is 0 so 18 0 and we can draw a line here Alright, so that's our second line, y um, equals negative 2x over 9 plus 4, and greater than, so all of the values above the line and including the line. And then uh, the next one is this one. y equals negative 2 thirds plus 8. So let's graph so the slope here is two thirds, negative two thirds. When x is zero, y is eight. So here, zero, eight. Then when x is three, y is six. Somewhere here, three, six. And then when y is when x, when x is twelve, y is zero. So we have here twelve zero. Now we can 
draw a line. Okay, so that's our third line and then it says greater than. And now we can look for our feasibility region, R, and then get the corner points or vertices to solve for the optimal value, maximum value using the objective function. So that means um, the feasibility region would be this part here. Now we can use the corner uh, values 0, 12, this one, um, okay, 9, yes, 9, 2, and then 18, 0. So our vertices will be Zero twelve three six nine two and then eighteen zero. Now we can use this uh points to solve for the optimal value using the objective function. So at point zero twelve eight z is equal to 25 times 0 plus 20 times 12 this is just equal to 240 and then at 3 6 z is equal to 25 times 3 plus 20 times 6 so this is equal to 195 and then at 9 2 z is equal to 25 times 9 plus 20 times 2 so this is equal to 265 and then at 18 0 z equals 25 times 18 plus 20 times 0 is equal to 450 this is in dollars Right, so from the data here, the optimal cost or price that can be maximized is at um, brand X3 and 6 for Y, and it costs $195.